All right there guys, we already tested the Bridgestone E6. So now I decided, why not do a test review of the Bridgestone E12? And later, we'll test out one of the Bridgestone tour balls. Great day to do a review. Five holes to go, just play 13. Need to palm away in, gotta hit mo greens. 362 yard, par four, little downhill. We're gonna hit driver. All right, guys, we caught it just a tad high on the face, closer to the toe, which gives us a lot of carry, so we should be okay. 362, I think we're, and again, it's downhill, so we gotta be 110, 120 range somewhere, maybe even inside of that. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, this ball somehow trickled a little bit into the back rough, or the right rough. The fairway does slope a little right. So the ball felt decent. I uh, can't complain about that shot. The trajectory, everything was good. Hit a little high draw. I got about 110 back to that pin. So because of the firmness, I'm gonna hit a 48 degree wedge. There's no way I can hit a pitching wedge. It would bound over this green. So we're gonna hit 48. We probably wanna err on the side of being short rather than long. All right guys, the ball landed a little softer than we expected, but we should have a decent putt at it. Looks like from here, it's in the 20 foot range. Ball flew nice and high. The ball didn't roll very much at all. Looks like it got about five feet of roll. This fairway slopes really hard right to left. So I hit a good shot, but it was a little left center of the fairway. So it took that left kick. So it's definitely gonna be in the rough. Wow, uh, guys, this ball took a hard left kick on me. This hole always kicks left, but this ball hit the left center of the fairway and it's 15 yards left of the fairway behind this little tree. But I think I shouldn't have a problem getting over it. Let's see how far we have into this hole. Okay, looks like we got 118 to the center, pins up. So about 110 yards. Okay guys, we're gonna go with the trusty 48 again. Okay, we caught the front center portion of the green. So again, probably 20 to 30 foot range. 20 footer here, and uh, so far I'm giving this E12 a pretty good rating. The compression isn't super low, like I think that E6, the compression was like 44, but this does have a uh, three layer construction. So generally a little better ball is gonna have three layer versus two layer like that E6 had. hole in the middle of the fairway that's 210 that's kind of the target area if you go too far left you can get water into play so let's see what this Bridgestone E12 how it feels off this shot Okay guys, I hit that ball pretty decent and left of that pole. The E12 did feel kind of firm on that shot. All right guys, I'm trying to avoid blinding you into this sun. So I've got 170 to the front, six hybrid, just to make sure I don't fly it all the way to the front because it gets really firm up there. Okay, landed short, I didn't hit it great. Looks like it might be five or 10 yards short of the green from here. It's hard to see into this sun, but 
I'll take it. Anything short of this green is fine. All right, guys, I'm going to take a little five hybrid, see if I can bump it up this hill, get it close to the flag, which is only about 15 feet on the green. Wasn't a very good effort there, guys. All right, guys, well, there you have my own course performance of this Bridgestone E12 golf ball. A very playable golf ball. I'm going to be interested in what, what the numbers look like, and I'm going to compare this Bridgestone E12 to the E6. We'll see how they shape up. All right, guys, from 50 yards, the Bridgestone had a 8-degree higher launch, 2,400 RPMs less spin, a 5-degree steeper descent angle, and 3 yards higher peak height. So like most budget balls it's going to launch high have a high descent and a lot less spin than a pro v1 with the seven iron it had two miles per hour less ball speed a one degree higher launch about 200 rpms less spin resulting in three yards shorter carry than the pro v1 with the driver it had one mile per hour less ball speed the launch was similar spin was similar and about four yards less carry than the Pro V1. Now comparing the E6 to the E12, the E6 is a two-piece ball. The E12 is a three-piece ball. They both have a sirloin cover. The E6 claims a soft, large cover for faster compression and longer distance, while the E12 claims raised dimple area allows 38% more contact with the club face than traditional dimples for a faster ball speed. The E6 has a soft, seamless cover, while the E12 claims a softer core for enhanced feel. Decided to compare the Bridgestone E12 to the E6. The launch was about one degree lower than the E6. 900 RPMs more spin than the E6. So it did pretty good there comparatively. With the seven iron, it had one mile per hour less ball speed, one degree higher launch, 400 RPMs more spin, and the carry was four yards shorter than the Bridgestone E6. Found the driver pretty interesting. The driver, it had three miles per hour more ball speed, but it launched almost two and a half degrees lower. It had 500 RPMs more spin. So the carry was one yard shorter than the E6, even though it had three miles per hour more ball speed. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed my video on the Bridgestone E12. To check out a video that I did on the Bridgestone E6, click the video to my right. To check out a video on my five best budget balls, Click the video to my left. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, Mr. Short Hitter, out. My game's obscene now. Hooks and big fades, it's not my day now. Why did I play now? Just clear my head. Get back in this. An outside shot, you still can win this.